iPhone 15 Pro Max release date predictions, rumored specs, cameras, and more. Apple's next flagship phone looks set to be the iPhone 15 Pro Max, as the so-called iPhone Ultra may be pushed back to 2016. As the biggest and most fully featured of the iPhone lineup, the iPhone 15 Pro Max could make a splash on our best phones list and set a new standard for smartphones to follow. While we don't expect huge differences from the iPhone 14 Pro Max, with Apple likely to double down and refine the dynamic island, the rumored upgrades could all add up to a very impressive phone. We could see a powerful new A17 Bionic chip, a periscope zoom camera, titanium design, and other enhancements. So read on for all the rumors so far about the iPhone 15 Pro Max. iPhone 15 Pro Max Potential Release Date as night follows day, we can expect to see Apple launch the iPhone 15 range in the fall, with September being the likely launch month. And the iPhone 15 Pro Max will likely hit up the family, positioned to fend off rivals like the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and likely the Google Pixel 8, which would potentially launch in October. There are no substantial rumors for the iPhone 15 Pro Max's price, but we suspect it'll track with that of the iPhone 14 Pro lineup. So that means a starting price of $1,099 slash $1,199 pounds slash $1,899 Australian dollars for a base 128 gigabytes model, topping out at $1,599 slash $1,749 pounds slash $2,769 Australian dollars for one terabyte version. One early rumor has the iPhone 15 Pro tipped to get a $100 price hike. But that could just be for the US to put it in line with the price hikes of the iPhone 14 models in the UK and other regions. Analyst Jeff Poo is the latest to predict an iPhone 15 Pro price hike, citing the rumored improvements Apple is making to both the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max. Regardless, the iPhone 15 Pro Max won't be cheap. But as an out-and-out -out flagship phone, that's to be expected, and it would likely rub shoulders with the Galaxy S23 Ultra in terms of price, which starts at $1,199 in the US. Should prices go up, Apple will have to make the case for why you should pay more for an iPhone 15 Pro Max. It's unlikely that Apple will shake up the overall design of the iPhone 15 Pro Max, or the Pro lineup in general. The Dynamic Island will almost certainly remain, perhaps with a few tweaks and improved functionality and third-party app support, especially as it's tipped to feature on all iPhone 15 models. It may well be a new type of Dynamic Island too, as Apple's rearranging some of the sensors inside, leaks say. Expect the display size to stick with 6.7 inches, as well as feature a 120Hz refresh rate courtesy of an LTPO OLED display. Apple might do some tuning to boost the brightness and colors of the iPhone 15 Pro Max's screen, and maybe shrinking the bezels to the smallest of any smartphone around. One bigger change could be found on the edges of the iPhone 15 Pro Max with some rumors touting a move away from the flat edges brought in by the iPhone 12 and a return to curved sides. The idea here is the large iPhone could be more comfortable to hold. This rumor was given more weight by supposedly leaked images of the front glass panels of the iPhone 15 range, which show how the sides of the screen could be gently curved and the iPhone 15 Pro Max's chassis could be made of titanium. This could lead to a stronger yet lighter iPhone Pro Max, which we think would be an excellent upgrade and shift away from the stainless steel edges that can be chipped easily, in our experience at least. The iPhone 15 Pro Max is also tipped to feature solid-state buttons with haptic feedback rather than moving parts. A new rumor has further added to this claiming the iPhone 15 Pro Max will use a solid-state button that combines two volume buttons into a single rocker that won't move but use haptics to communicate physical feedback. Such buttons would reduce the risk of exposing the inside of the iPhone 15 Pro Max to dust and liquids, as well as make the flagship more durable overall. 
We've seen these designs in 3D now thanks to dummy units of all four expected models. They're not too different looking from the iPhone 14 series, but they're still different enough to require new cases. A separate video leak of iPhone 15 Pro CAD renders shows the unified volume rocker that replaces the dedicated volume buttons, as well as the mute button that replaces the iconic mute switch on all previous iPhones. We haven't heard many iPhone 15 color rumors, but according to 9to5Mac, opens a new tab, we could see a deep red color option for the iPhone 15 Pro series. Rumors of USB-C connectivity replacing the venerable lightning port seem very likely on the iPhone 15 Pro Max, as the European Union has demanded that phones need to adopt USB-C as the common charging standard by December 2024. Apple is very likely to get ahead of that with the iPhone 15 lineup. Adopting USB-C would certainly help with charging and ease of connectivity but it could make connecting to older iPhone accessors a little awkward without converters and dongles, such as the price of change. One rumor has Apple tipped to mandate made for iPhone USB-C accessories, which could limit how unapproved third-party accessories perform with next-gen iPhones. That rumor is picking up more weight now that analyst Ming-Chi Kuo says it's going to happen. This could clash with European Union's ruling that dictates how device makers will need to adopt a common standard for charging and connectivity, in this case, USB-C. Given Apple could restrict data transfer and charging potential for non-Apple accessories, it could breach the EU's rules on the implementation of USB-C. Expect the iPhone 15 Pro Max to stick with the same trio of rear cameras as the iPhone 14 Pro Max, a main, ultra-wide, and telephoto suite of snappers. That'll be fine by us as the iPhone 14 Pro Max is one of our top picks for the best camera phones. But expect improvements to be made on the sensor and software side. Apple has been tipped to use a new Sony state-of-the-art sensor for the iPhone 15 after all. One big upgrade could be a periscope telephoto lens for the iPhone 15 Pro Max, tipped by Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo, which would use an array of optical lenses to boost the zoom range of the camera without needing to rely on cropping or digital zooming. A 6x optical zoom could be in store. Periscope cameras popped up in phones a few years back, but have since dropped off a bit. But as we saw with the Apple Find X2 Pro, they can produce some rather nice telephoto shots. So this would be a neat upgrade for the next iPhone Pro Max. Another core rumor claims that the iPhone 15 Pro will sport an 8P main lens to reduce distortion in wider angle shots. But considering that Apple just moved to a 7P lens for the iPhone 14 Pro, this tidbit is one we're a little skeptical about. A new tip has suggested that the iPhone 15 Pro models could sport an upgraded LiDAR sensor to bring in more performance and better power efficiency. Not only could this be a boon for iPhone battery life, but it could make for better portrait photos with improved depth sensing, as well as boosted augmented reality apps, which can benefit from better room scanning sensors. 